for doing a test, count out 10 papers. A pair of anvil secateurs are just great for cutting them. And it's a good idea to just pin them through the corner. Um, and I tend to use um, different coloured pins for what are going to be different positions in the canopy. The other good thing about um, using pins with the papers is that um, when you come to put them out into, onto the leaves again, you don't need to have gloves on. So you can just handle the paper by the pin. And typically we just um, pin them through the midrib on the leaves um, on the top and bottom surface. So I'm using dark colour on the top surface, lighter colour on the bottom surface. Just opposing the pins so that they don't push the paper off on the other side. Now we've got a leaf red on the bottom, blue on the top. Typically what we'd be looking for is that this is a lower canopy paper, or lower canopy leaf and paper. Um, so this should be the easiest to spray. We'd reach through and you know a good hand width into the canopy above if there is anything and put pins up, papers up there as well. And tend to do that in the centres of the rows and out in the leader zone. Usually we'll tie a bit of flagging ribbon onto the um, near the leaf where the papers are out just to make it easier to locate them again after the spray has gone through. So this is a leaf from the upper canopy in the centre of the row. Excessive coverage, to run off, adequate coverage. Okay, so these papers are taken, again, ten papers, um, five from each side of the row, cut in half, um, looking at the upper surface of leaves, lower surface of leaves. The big difference here is that this is in the female canopy, which is on one side of the row we had female canopy, relatively open, showing fantastically good coverage on top and bottom surfaces in that leader zone. The male canopy is at least twice as dense as the female and it's really starting to show the effect of canopy on compromising spray coverage. If you're talking about the difference in deposits, um, that would represent at least a tenfold difference in deposits between what we're getting on the males versus on the um, female um, leaves. The potential for control here of, of PSA with the rates of chemical we'd be putting on would be really quite compromised in that dense canopy. David pointed out the poor coverage seen in the male leader zone. And if you have a look at the canopy floor here, before we even go into the canopy itself, you can see down the row of vines here where the sun has come through the canopy. In contrast, the male plant, which is just closest to the post here, the ground is completely shaded, and that's obviously represented by the complex canopy, as seen here. So the two key components to coverage are the sprayer and secondly the canopy. Once you've modified your sprayer as much as you can, you then have to start look at modifying your canopy so that you can get coverage. And as we can see here, we've got a very dense male that we will never get coverage in. Your only option is to modify your canopy.